Hello and welcome to another FTL Let's Play. Uh, today let's go ahead and uh, use one of these crystal ships. Um, let's use Crystal A. Brabus. Uh, sounds like from Game of Thrones, but I think that's spelled differently. Yeah, we'll go ahead with this. He's got two fairly interesting weapons. They both pierce shields. Um, and that's pretty much it. One shoots twice and does one damage. Each shot, uh, one shoots once and does two damage. So both weapons are similar in a way, in that they'll do two damage and get through one shield. Um, that's it. Uh, we've got four crew members. If you're not familiar with the crystal crew members, they do do they do they do 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 do. Um, they do have an interesting um, an interesting how would I uh, attribute? They they can lock down. They shoot out a goo. Or, whoa! I'm in a fight and I didn't even realize it. They shoot out a goo in all directions. Perfect. Let's just go ahead and take these weapons down. Uh, they shoot a goo out in all directions and knock a room down. I guess I could probably, actually, you know what, I'll just go ahead and show you this here on my own ship. Where is he? Here he is up here in the weapons room. He shot this goo out and locks the, locks it, nobody can get in or out. Allows him, it's good for boarding, good for being boarded. That's yeah, an interesting weapon. And it does reload, you can see it's charging time reloaded up there. I'm sort of regretting doing it now, I just hope that it would reload a lot quicker or that fight would go a little longer. But uh, I'm not going to waste your time by sitting around. Uh, we'll go through this nebula. It just gives, it just enhances how much scrap we can get. Like it gives us more time. It's more dangerous nebulous, but uh, it gives us more time. Have to follow. Yes, we will. All right, is these two beam weapons, or is this a? Yeah, perfect. All right, he's incapable of hurting us. We're just going to go for his pilot system and his engines. That way, we can't escape, obviously, but also. It stops his dodge capability. Now, if you do, if you do have lots of time, okay, you, if you want, you could do something like uh, get his oxygen down at this stage and uh, keep it down. And his ship, if they will eventually die, and you'll capture all crew members. It might add an hour or so onto your game, which is why I'm not going to do it at the moment. But uh, it certainly is an option. Okay, this is going well so far. No damage, quick kills. First ion stone, how will we survive this? Uh, I think it's important we get our shields up, first of all. And I need more, you know what, I could probably get away with um, the one shot weapon. And that would allow me to keep up a little bit of dodge. Oh, that dodge actually ended up saving me. Okay, we only need to get down one thing here. Um, either it be the weapon system or the drone control. I think the drone is a little quicker on the fire. Wow, that was a quite a double shot that man just got off. You know, you a human control player. Well, a human control player can't do that because he can't control his drones. Um, that was fairly impressive. Oh, I can use my second weapon while my shields are down. Uh, let's get that shield back up. There we go. Okay, I attempted to set this offer, set this offer just to get out of here, but uh, no, we can kill him from this point. We're, we're gonna start running out of oxygen soon. But, uh, not too soon. Don't worry me that much. Now, I don't think this guy can uh, get a second shot in off before our shields come back up. So I'm a little concerned. Wait a minute, he didn't get shot off, did he? No, he didn't. Go ahead and get oxygen back into our ship. Uh, while we're waiting. Uh, we, we'll, sorry, we will wait a little while to get the oxygen back in. It's uh, not... not not strictly necessary, but uh, it does certainly help. If we if we run into a similar enough situation um, next fight, we would be in trouble if we went and let all that us leave. Uh, we'll just get back up to the 65 or so, and then we'll try on. Again, another excellent spot where a fast forward button would be helpful. It wouldn't give you any real advantage in the game, would just just be feel a little easier. We'll go uh, to the non nebula just in case the identical situation does happen and we would end up running out of oxygen. 
Okay, that's a pretty good bribe. Par oh, pardon me. Wow. Um, but he is, in, he is in pursuit of an extra ship, so we have a chance of getting a extra encounter out of this. So let's see. Uh, try to be a hero. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, that's the one we were looking for. Yeah, we're going to try and be a hero. In fact, we are going to be a hero. Very heroic as a person. Alright, he has enough weapons. He has like four shots, so he's going to get through our shields. Oh, nice. We're going to actually dodge two of those four shots. And one of them will miss our weapon system. Okay, that, uh, that worked out quite well, in fact. He did hit us, and he hit us in one of our more valuable spots, our shields. But, uh, no, he is dead. The second offer wasn't all the best. There's no real point hitting the shields as we have piercing. So I'll just go ahead and hit something else in the unlikely chance that he does get back on his feet. Alright, the extra ship did do something. It repaired five hull points. I'm not sure how many hull points we needed repairing. Uh, one thing, actually, speaking of hull points, I did forget to mention we have. We have the Crystal Vengeance. Pretty cool item. If we get hit, there's a 10% chance I will just spit out a projectile to hit him. In fact, does that does that pierce all shields? Uh, pick up a short that a shard that flies at your enemy. It doesn't mention what it does to his shields. We'll assume it just does shield damage rather than anything else. But it's very possible it pierces everything. Uh, no missiles, and you know what? We do have a nice, valuable drone part, I believe, if I'm correct. I might be wrong there, but we'll go ahead and take the offer. Seems, seems pretty nice offer. No, we don't. I thought we picked up a drone earlier. I must be thinking of a previous game. Uh, we'll carry on. So, either way, those drone, drone parts are worth more than those missiles, although we can't really sell them. Okay, Vade is very valuable inside the asteroid. Belt. Um, main thing I want to get his weapons down. I can't be hurt if his weapons get down. Perfect. Uh, did I shoot my second? I did. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and get his shields down for once. Um, mainly just because uh, the asteroids will finish him off for us. Or help us finish him, finish him off. Wow, we hit an asteroid. We saved his ship. His weapons are back. <laughs> That's some dodging he just did. Okay, now there is an offer. Shield overcharge. Um, yeah, we're gonna just gonna go ahead and accept that offer and repair this ship up. Unfortunately, he got that one shot in on us. Not really we do about it. Okay, we just want to repair that hull first. I assume it's repaired. It is, um, and we'll heal this guy up while the other guy fixes, uh, finishes repairing. Okay, um, we will now certainly be thinking about getting a uh, drone control. Uh, just. I, I'm a big fan of salt and shoots, and that's the way to get it, those overcharge or whatever it's called. Okay, try shielding with your ship. Uh, yeah, go ahead. That's another great um, <coughs> great encounter for that. One damage for all that scrap. You take that. It's not always that that works out. I, I very regularly take way more damage than I would like in those deals and get the. Uh, get much less than I'd like out of them. Well currently we're, we're looking like uh, a nice a nice shape to hit up a, sh a store and uh, get something valuable. And maybe even an extra, you know I'm not that pushed about getting an extra crew member. So I'm not going to, well I might accept that, you know, let's we'll see. But also think about getting teleportation, the two crystal crew members. That, that can be a massive weapon. Oh, we got the shot. We got at least one shot in anyway. Um, all right, that's that's actually enough to keep us going. Uh, we will need. Let's get someone over there to help repair. 
We will need this shot to hit, though. It did not. <clears throat> we'll fire up the other weapon instead, as it has two shots. I think there's enough time, even if he repairs, even if he repairs the flak now, it won't be charged in time to help it along. Okay, we're we're out of danger. We'll go ahead and just hit up the rest of the ship. Dodging is impressive. <clears throat> um, a rock crew member. Hmm, interesting. You know what? No, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wait for money. Instead, uh, feel free to berate me about that. Rock crew member is handy. It's a it's a crew member of a species I don't currently have. I would highly recommend you consider taking crew members of species you don't have. Uh, like I think I get a blue option with a rock crew member against spiders. Actually, you know I don't, but I feel you should. Go ahead and leave those spiders alone. I think uh, oh, I use the, I often take chances in the first second, which you know I feel like uh, we're doing very well at the moment, and it could just kill me if. Uh, we lost uh, one of these crystal crew members. Uh, fight this ship. Oh, that's a pretty powerful ship. We fight. We could even hire them to delay the rebels. That gives us a lot of extra time. Uh, no, nah, let's go ahead and fight. You know what? I actually just noticed his weapon systems as well. Um, usually with these weapon systems, you get one shot off. He takes my shields down. Um, speaking of which, let's just auto fire her. Uh, we take my shields down with this uh, first gun, and then the beam weapon gets. Oh, it didn't even get the shot off this time. And then it stays out of sync. Like, it, it, it's a computer, it just stays firing when it can, and it's never at the right times. As you'll probably see right now. There you go. Right, that's it. We're, we're fully out of trouble. Now this is... Lots of dodging going on. Lots of evading. No more, though. Okay, that's, that's it. This shot should take him down. What do we get? Perfectly acceptable. Okay, we even get a shot, and uh, yeah, more than enough time to get out of there. There's so many things I'm considering. Um, drone control and cloaking, both great options, I think. Uh, what else have we got? Drone recovery arm. You know, if we get to go for the drone, yeah, that could be that could be very interesting. Comes with a free combat drone, and uh, I think we can probably afford to get both of them. You know what? Yeah, we're going drone control. We're getting the drone recovery arm with it. And let's set up our ship a bit. And get him in there. Right, uh, yeah, we can freely we can freely use this combat drone because of that drone recovery arm. Let's uh, just remind ourselves what it does, because it's not guaranteed, is it? Uh, Non-destroyed drones will be retrieved when jumping, allowing their parts to be reused. I don't think that's fully true. I think it only gets one drone per jump. Drum, jump. So if you use multiple drones, uh, you're just shit out of luck, I think. Okay, of course. Aid civilians because they have get double rewards out of it. Um, so I don't really see the point using the combat drone here because we pierce the shields. Maybe on its own he can do it. You know what, we're not going to, we'd have to, uh, we'd have to stop so much of what we have uh, in our dodging or our shields, or one of our weapon systems, which doesn't seem worthwhile. Alright, that's a, uh, either way, it doesn't really matter, we, we took no damage, we, we were not affected by this ship, and I think we get two rewards. Oh, we have a chance of two rewards. Reward one, meh. Reward two, 
welcome aboard. Um, new crew member, always useful. Let's put him in the doors over here and help him defend these weapon systems if need be. Okay, we're definitely going to consider getting teleportation if, if or when we can. Okay, I think we can hit the exit and one more. Nice, another double reward system. Okay, good, good job taking my sensors out. Excellent. We need this dodge. We need it not to hit our weapon system. <laughs> Oh, well, we hopefully should still be okay. Oh, that's disgusting. Um, I guess... Yeah, I guess we stay going for those weapon systems. There's our crystal sh Oh, look at that crystal shard. Excellent job taking down the missiles for me. Um, and we need these shields up. I don't think this man doesn't be able to help though. Time. He did not. Okay, that's it. We're uh, out of the woods now. Now that I think of this combat drone is not helping too much with the setup we have with these uh, shield piercing shots. We really need some sort of other weapon system that fires a lot quicker. And uh, oh, nice double reward there. Uh, fires a lot quicker and and just takes down one of the shields for as well. That drone go in there and do some ungodly damage speaking speaking from experience of drones hitting me uh, we can upgrade this uh, drone control we can indeed excellent and we'll probably we'll get uh, we'll start using these shields here these are much more valuable we keep ourselves a lot of trouble in these fights we just that's that is enough space we have enough fuel uh, we'll be it's one of the most handy things it does do is uh, I don't know what I'm on about here never mind this shield booster do we use it now I don't think in an asteroid field I think we'll just get taken down too much we probably still do but you know what the combat drone might be better here let's get it out there in an asteroid field, take his shields down regularly. There we go, we already got a hit in. Oh, he, he synergized with the asteroids as well, which is nice. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna hope uh, the oxygen takes that far down. Okay, excellent. A bit out of trouble now. No, we're not accepting any uh, surrenders anytime soon. Okay, a little worried about dying. Um, oh, that was close, and I would have liked to admit. Okay, nice reward. Um, oh, we need that oxygen back on. Um, we got the combat drone back, and never even noticed. Um, or do we only get it back after you jump? Or in fact, was it destroyed by some stray asteroid? All these things seem possible, and more. Okay, that was a long ass Sector 1, I must say. But uh, a very, very rewarding Sector 1. So tune in next time. Um, ooh, it'd be tempted to go to the Rock Control Sector, because I feel like we have a Rock Crew member, but of course we turned one down. Um, so we'll go ahead and go to the rebel control. You know what? I'll go to rock control. That gives us this other red um, sector up here. Red sectors are more likely encounters with ships and therefore get more scrap. So we'll get, go ahead and go there and end the video. Just because you're curious, we'll have a quick look if there's any shops around. There is nothing. So tune in next time to see how we get on in sector two. And uh, wow, that was 19 minutes for one sector. See if we can't beat that time next time. All right, goodbye.